We're going to prove that the square root of 2 is irrational. That is, that the square root of 2 cannot be written as a fraction. So let's start by supposing that it can. Suppose you can write the square root of 2 as a fraction, say p over q, where p and q are whole numbers. And not only that, but we've got it in lowest terms. We divided out all the common factors, so we can say that p and q have no factors greater than 1 in common. Now, let's multiply both sides by q, so we get rid of the fraction. That'll tell us that q times the square root of 2 equals p. And then, to get rid of the square root, let's square both sides. We square this. When you square a product, it's the same as squaring both factors individually and then multiplying together. And I just reverse the order, so we have it in a more normal order. 2 times q squared equals p squared. Now, that tells us something about the oddness or evenness of p. Can you see what it is? You want to pause the video for a moment to think about it? All right, I'll tell you. p squared is equal to 2 times q squared. So if you're 2 times some number, then you're an even number. So that tells us that p squared is an even number. But if p squared is an even number, what does that say about p? Well, we know an odd times an odd is an odd. So if p itself was odd, then p squared would have to be odd. But we know p squared is even, so p has to be even. So that's the conclusion we can draw. p is even. And if p is even, what does it mean to be even? Again, it means that you're 2 times some other number. So we could say that we can write p is equal to 2k for some integer, k. Integer means whole number. p is equal to 2k. So let's take that p equals 2k, put the 2k back in here where we had p in the equation. So we get that 2q squared is a quantity 2k, the whole thing squared. And of course, again, when you square a product, you square each factor separately and then multiply them together. So what we get is 4k squared. 2q squared equals 4k squared. So that equation, factor of 2 on both sides, we can divide through by 2. And we wind up with q squared equals 2k squared. Hmm, that should look familiar. It looks a lot like what we had before. So again, Pause the video if you need to. Think about what does that say about the oddness or evenness of q. Okay, q squared is 2 times some whole number, so q squared is even. And if q squared is even, as we said before, that means that q itself is even. All right, is that a problem? Yes, it is a problem. Let's see if you can figure it out. q is even, p is even. So that means they're both even numbers, they're both divisible by 2. Yet, in the beginning, we said they have no common factors greater than 1. So we've arrived at a contradiction. And that contradiction tells us that the initial assumption that we could even write this in the first place has to be false. So you cannot possibly write the square root of 2 as a fraction. Therefore, the square root of 2 is an irrational number.